ودي لي سلام يا رايح للحرم ودعي لي وسلم لي على هذه الأمم ودي لي سلام يا رايح للحرم ودعي لي وسلم لي على هذه الأمم my dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, and welcome to Hajj Live 2015. And of course, the amazing footsteps of Ibrahim alayhi salam once again brought to you, sitting wherever you are in the world, inshallah, all the way from Mecca and Medina. And of course, one thing I've learned in life many, many years ago in 1999, when I went on my first trip to Hajj, was the beautiful reminder given by our Sheikh at that time. He said, No matter whether you get the visa, whether you get the flight, the holidays, you have the money. You will only come to Hajj if Allah invites you to his banquet. Alhamdulillah, once again, Allah has blessed me with the honor and the opportunity to travel to Hajj. On top of that, to travel with the beautiful Islam channel. It's a chance for me to see the sites, some of the sites that we don't see generally, and give you what is the background to Hajj, inshallah, and obviously some of the background work that goes on with the Saudi authorities to look at the different angles of Hajj, the different facets. But on top of that, more importantly, or equally importantly, is to meet people from all over the world because of course it's a gathering of mankind and no matter how many times you've been to Hajj or how many books you read there's nothing like going to a local masjid and getting a flavor of what you're about to expect well today I've already run 13 miles half marathon in London get into some kind of shape for Hajj I know it's meant to be more about walking but you know what sometimes okay to get a little bit extreme but tonight inshallah I'm gonna come here to this local mosque and find out a little bit more about Hajj just a few reminders for myself and also meet some of the people traveling who are fortunate enough that Allah has invited them to his banquet and to follow the footsteps of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillahir Rabbil Alameen In the morning when we wake Bismillah, Bismillah with every step we take Bismillah, Bismillah With every word we say Bismillah, Bismillah And every game we play So when it comes to Arafah The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Prayed Asr at the beginning of his song And he joined Asr to it So he prayed Duhr and Asr in the time of Duhr Why? So you have number three times in one week to pray Shaykh, what's the best dua on Arafat? La ilaha illallahu wahdahu la sharika lahu lahu al-mulku wa lahu al-hamdu yuhyi wa yumeet wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadeer That it, it's talking about the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it's the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in there. So basically, the idea is that if... You see, there's a hadith that if you give your entire time to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he knows what's best for you so that's why he'll give you anyway but you have to have a very high level of tawakkul for that so I would suggest you read this dua but you also make your other duas as well not to exclusively have just one dua or the other unless you've got a high level of tawakkul and connect, uh, contact with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen in order for people to be prepared to take the footsteps of Ibrahim alayhi salam, it's not important just only to be physically prepared, but most importantly is mentally prepared and to know exactly what to expect and what to do. So, which uh, all around the country, alhamdulillah, similar to this local mosque, people are gathered at various training courses with their local masajid, local mashayikh, to find out a bit more information. I'm just going to speak a few brothers here. Assalamu alaikum, brother, what's your name? Where are you from? Wa well, alaikum my name is Abu Bakr Sadiq, and I'm from Aldershot. Mashallah, what a beautiful name. Thank you very much, yeah. Now tell us, it's your first time to Hajj? Yes, mashallah, this is my first time I'm going with my wife. So what are you what are you looking forward to? Well, I'm looking to see forgiveness and have a life stream experience like the Sheikh says. And I also want to primarily fulfill my main obligation of being a Muslim, which is if you can afford them, do your Hajj once in a lifetime. 
And since it's going to be my first time there, and I have a lot of duas which I have in my mind, my shopping list, which I want to do, so looking forward to that. And as I think about it, it becomes very, very exciting. Well, look, I've been watching you throughout the, the afternoon, taking the, the various notes. You've taken a lot of notes and you're asking a lot of questions. Uh, are you hoping to remember everything or are you, are you kind of preparing very meticulously? How are you going to, are you going to be taking books with you? What's your kind of your advice to make sure on, on, the, on the first trip, how are you going to deal with it? Uh, I was firstly becoming too organized about it, but listening to the shape, I just need to see that has to be fine balance. I'm going through the material I'm preparing a couple of times. I've read the books before coming here, so just I can grasp the main gist of things and also the furs and the wajibs, so where I, you know, what, what sort of penalty you should be paying. But at the same time, I want to sort of immerse in the whole situation. So let's hope I get to that point in such a short time that I experience in a nice way. Well, we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts it from you, inshallah. Allah makes it easy for you. Let, let's just quickly speak to the Sheikh and find out how he feels the class is going on. Assalamu alaikum. Sheikh, and tell us how is, the, how is the class going? What kind of questions are people giving you? What kind of answers are you getting? And, you know, what are their expectations of Hajj this year? I think a lot of the time it's all about apprehension. It's the first time they do something like this. So uh, they, they, they want to make it right. But as I told them in the beginning, you don't want this to be just a, a, an assault course where you're so focused on the nitty gritty of it in terms of what's right and what's wrong that you lose the spirit of it. So that's one excess, one, one extreme. The other extreme is, oh, it's all about intention. And uh, what do you call it? Uh, Allah knows what's in my heart. So I had a guy once who didn't want to cut his hair at the end of it because he said, it's all in the heart. I don't need to cut my hair. So those are the two extremes. So what we try to tell people is, look, you need to keep the spirituality of it up. Take it easy. Have a lot of patience. And I guess all the questions that are being asked, they're all about something related to this kind of apprehension. How is it going to be? I want to make it the best hajj that I can because I've probably only got this as my option. So essentially, that's been the kind of questions. Well, you're going as well on Wednesday, inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah. I, May, may Allah make it easy for you. You've been a few times, obviously. Yeah, it's an absolute honor each time, and I just don't want to become complacent. Alhamdulillah. May Allah yeah. make it easy for you. May Allah accept it from you, inshallah. Well, as you can see, uh, there's still many brothers, got a lot of questions as the day goes on. What's really important is that people prepare mentally, physically and spiritually as well as financially for this journey of a lifetime in order to fulfill the footsteps of Ibrahim a.s. Well, of course, in Hajj alone, there are nearly 3 million people from all over the world and of course around 25 or 1,000 from Britain, alhamdulillah. Not just men, but of course our sisters as well. So I'm going to invite one of our sisters to come and tell us about her trip. Sister, come over here, inshallah. Uh, tell us your name. Um, my name is Naima. And where are you from? I'm from London. And is your first trip? Um, second trip. Now tell us, obviously if you've been before, what are you expecting this time around? Um, well, the last time I went was about 25 years ago. So I can't remember much. So also, a lot has changed. Um, yes, a lot has changed. Um, and I think this time I'm going with my partner, my husband, so it's going to be a spiritual journey with him as well. Well, this is my house, and from here, inshallah, we're on our way to the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And of course, you need very little provisions. Actually, to be honest, going to the house of Allah, you need nothing except yourself and your ihram. That's it. However, obviously, we're travelers. We need to take something. So I try and we travel with the lightest suitcase and as few items as possible. So this is the, the smallest one I could find. And I've managed to pick up a few things that I need, so let me take you through them. A pair of slippers, it is hot, and of course, in a ham, you need to wear them. A few items of clothing, obviously something to sleep in, and a few things that I need to, to change into. I do love my scarf, so I'm going to put them in as well. A few tops. I normally generally find that in Mecca and Medina, alhamdulillah, you manage to find a few extra things, new items that maybe have come in the market, some nice jubas. So we'll buy some of them there. So these are the few items of clothing. Toiletry bag, really important. And of course, the ihram. Really important to take this. Although I can buy it when I get there. Um, but I've got one lying around I use every year, so I'm going to take that with me. Close this up. And of course, the all important things like the wallet, phone charger, keys, passport. 
can put this away, ready for the flight tomorrow. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillahir Rabbil Alamin Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillahir Rabbil Alamin In the morning when we wake Bismillah Bismillah With every step we take Bismillah Bismillah with every word we say, Bismillah, Bismillah, and every game we play, Bismillah, 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 Hil Rahman, Hil Rahim, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin, Bismillah, Hil Rahman, Hil Rahim, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin. With everything we do, Bismillah, Bismillah. With everything that's new, Bismillah, Bismillah. With every place we go, Bismillah, Bismillah. And every friend we know, Bismillah, Bismillah. Ooh, Bismillah, Hil Rahman, Hil Rahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin. Bismillah, Hil Rahman, Hil Rahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin. So now, alaikum. Well, it's a very fresh Sunday morning here at Heathrow Airport, Terminal Four. We're about to take our flight with Saudi Airlines, inshallah. The rest of the team are inside. Lots of equipment, alhamdulillah, processing through the baggage area, and all to ensure that you get the best coverage here on Islam Channel Live Hajj 2015. So Alhamdulillah we are on board the flight, ready to go to Medina inshallah, a few hours we'll be there in the city of the beloved, the city of light, the city of knowledge inshallah. So I've got a bit of reading material for me inshallah, first and foremost is my notebook. Uh, just to keep an idea of what we're going to be doing every single day to make sure we're the best of our journey and uh, This is a really fantastic book and it actually has vivid description of the Prophet's mosque Peace be upon him which inshallah will be covering in the first few days of footsteps of Ibrahim alayhi salam And of course the Prophet's Hajj inshallah and a few notes as usual So really looking forward to landing in Medina inshallah a change in weather a change in attitude change in culture and of course most importantly change in spirituality سلاما فاح من أرج لضيف حل نادين فأهلا مرحبا شدوي يصوغ الحبة الحين سلاما فاح من أرج لضيف حل نادين فأهلا مرحبا شدوي يصوغ الحبة الحين سلاما فاح من well, we're just about over halfway to Medina, alhamdulillah, and a pleasant flight, getting a bit of rest, and really looking forward to landing, inshallah, and seeing the beautiful minarets of the mosque of the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, inshallah. Salaman faha min araj, li daifin halla nadeen, faahlan marohaban shadwi yasoogul. Well, we've just landed at Medina Airport, alhamdulillah, beautiful extension. And you know the calmness about the airport, which is very similar to the city of Medina. And of course, that was the same calmness that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa felt when he arrived here 1500 years ago, and we still see it today. All right, we're going to go through some of the legalities, get our equipment and our luggage, inshallah, make our way to the hotel. And after that, we're going to meet the Ministry of Communication, who are absolutely fantastic in their support to Islam Channel, and the many media agencies from around the world to cover the Hajj. And then maybe, might just give you a glimpse, of the Prophet's mosque, peace be upon him. Salaman faah min araj li daif hal nadeen faahlan marohaban shadwi yasoog al-hubbat al-hina Salaman faah min araj li daif hal nadeen Alhamdulillah, we managed to get through Medina Airport very, very quickly because of people like Abdul Hamid, Alhamdulillah 
part of the mint information. Jazakallah khair. Right, we're just loading our last few suitcases. If I can lift this up, Allah. And that's us, inshallah, ready to make our way to the hotel. Alhamdulillah, another smooth transition from the airport to the hotel. We're just waiting to get our luggage and checked in, inshallah, get a shower, freshen up, and obviously put on the best clothing possible to go and meet the Prophet and give our salams and do some reflection tonight before we go into the heavy work and start transmitting life tomorrow, inshallah, on Islam channel. لك يا حبيب الله أهدي تحياتي بلغ الحرير هداه فمتى اللقاء ياتي أهدي تحياتي من نور أحمد نهتدي وبهدي طه نقتدي من نور أحمد الحمد لله arrived in the courtyard of the mosque of the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم I'm about to, inshallah, go inside the mosque itself, give my salams to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and of course his two beloved companions, Umar and Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with them, and spend some time in reflection on the start of this wonderful journey on the footsteps of Ibrahim alayhi salam. I'd like to take you with me, but I need a bit of time on my own, inshallah, maybe next time. When you leave home for any journey, particularly a journey as important as Hajj, one is full of apprehension, leaving behind family, personal affairs, business, whatever it might be. However, alhamdulillah, that apprehension suddenly dies out the minute you're checking at the airport. And I don't know what it is, Allah places in your heart, this feeling that you're coming home to Him, alhamdulillah. So on the journey, we've had a fantastic flight. We had extreme ease through the airport with the Ministry of Information helping us through very, very stiffly through passport control, our luggage, checking us into a beautiful hotel here, alhamdulillah, to make sure that we're looked after. May Allah bless them all. The Saudi authorities really do a phenomenal job. Beyond that, you know what? I feel at home when I arrive in Medina. It's as though you've come to people who are part of your family. And of course, we all are a part of the family of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. وَدِّيلِ سَلَامِ يَا رَيْحْ لِلْحَرَمِ وَدْعِي لِي وَسَلِّمْ لِي عَلَى هَذِي الْأُمَمِ وَدِّيلِ سَلَامِ يَا رَيْحْ لِلْحَرَمِ وَدْعِي لِي وَسَلِّمْ لِي عَلَى هَذِي الْأُمَمِ